Hello y'all, this is Prom 3285 and I just want to talk, talk about Donkey Kong Country Returns. Now Donkey Kong Country Returns came out for the regular Wii November 21st, 2010. It also was re-released for the Nintendo 3DS. It came out for the 3DS May 20, 2013. You know, it came out um, for both um, platforms it came out for the for the regular Wii and it came out for the 3DS. Now this game in my opinion is a, a phenomenal game. First time I played this game my niece had this game and she uh she got it for her regular Wii, you know, around the time it came out, you know. Because my brother got got uh, got this game for um his daughter and um, when they brought it over that's 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 when the first time I played this game. Listen, I had a blast with this game. This game brought back the classic feel to Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. But it just looked better, it looked more updated. It even had the classic levels like throwback music and it just brought back that classic feel. But I felt like with this game they went more further. They upped the scale with the level design. This game was definitely tougher than the older Donkey Kong Country games. This definitely was tougher. The more further you get, the more tougher it gets. But the boss battles were just as amazing as the old games. And this game is definitely a classic, in my opinion. It's definitely went more further with this game. It brought back a lot of classic levels, like the factory levels. Later on, like this game has a lot of worlds, a lot of worlds. They bring back classic characters such as Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Cranky Kong, you know. And in this game, um, Diddy Kong has his jetpack, and Diddy Kong is on Donkey Kong's back. You can choose, like, to have, you know, Diddy Kong, he could be either be on his back. Now, I remember the first game, Diddy Kong had his jetpack, if I can remember, it was Donkey Kong 64, when he first had his jetpack. But in this game, he has his jetpack. He got his jetpack. Um, his jetpack returns in this game. And you can use him with Donkey Kong. And he can, you know, you could control both characters, which is awesome. Now, what blows me away more about this game, what's so unique, is the new level design. You know, how everything they just added new. Like the rocket barrel, you know, levels, you know so many enemies be coming at you like it's this level these bats be attacking you and it's this big bat this big bat to be attacking you too and it's just amazing it's just like they went more further with the the level design just the graphics the new camera angles you know the controls are different but once you figure out the controls the controls isn't so different from from the Super Nintendo. Also, they they introduced the ground pound for Donkey Kong. He could ground pound and stun enemies. You know, his ground pound, they went more further with that. Also, they have, like, this thing that has the DK thing, like, Bungo, he pounds on the ground, and then, um, and then sometimes it gets, like, it open up, like, um, for certain levels, it open, it open up secret passages and stuff. They just went more further with this game. Like, the collectibles, the puzzle pieces, you know, you know, a lot of enemies return in this game, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, classic, classic, um, characters, you know, a lot of classic characters, I'll take that back, it's, it's different enemies in this game, it's new enemies, you know, and these enemies, it's like they play music and they hypnotize, hypnotize a lot of things on the island like a lot of animals and it's like you fight like the first boss you fight is Mugly um, and then there's another boss you fight that, that looks like Mugly is, is Fugly and it's different um, bosses you face in this game it's like the boss battles are amazing this game is definitely a really tough game in my opinion but it's also it's really fun you know it's, it's really unique how they went more further and this the graphics of the regular Wii was just so amazing and powerful, you know. In this game, they went more further. It's like they, you know, this game captures the classic feel the fans want in the Donkey Kong Country game. But then it's like they just upped the scale. They took it to the next level. It's like so unique level designs, you know. And it has classic music, like 
the first level in this game is like sort of like a, a, a throwback to the very first level in the first Donkey Kong Country game for the Super Nintendo it even plays the same music. You know, it just looks updated and better. You know, the graphics. You know, and this game is really cool. It's a great game. I enjoy playing this game with my niece, my nephew, and my brother. You know, I'm a brother. Um, us being downstairs playing it on a big TV and just having fun, you know, playing it on, you know, downstairs and in my living room, just that, playing it downstairs and just having fun, you know. You know, it's just like the good times. And this game is really fun. It's, you know, this game, you know, anybody play this game, I have a blast. You know, this is a, this is a great game. It's, you know, it really is. Really enjoyed the levels too. The level design they brought back the even the classic um mine carts. They brought back they brought that back. They even made it better in this game. You know, a little more further. There's more levels. You know, and there's more rocket barrel levels too. Now the rocket barrel levels, in my opinion, were really hard in this game. You know, but yeah, in this game we face a lot of enemies, including crab enemies like. They like pirate crabs or something. Even some of the bosses you face is like, I think it's the second world, the beach world level. You face these uh these three crab bosses. Yeah, you gotta you gotta face them. And this this level at the second um at the beach world level is when you face uh like um you come across this huge octopus, which is really cool. It's a cool level. They show him in the background, and then you tear up the uh, pirate ship, and you gotta run from him. It's really cool. It's an awesome level. And then they have this awesome. They have this another level at the same at the same world that is called Tidal Terror. And you gotta watch out from this huge tidal wave. You know, this game has an amazing levels. You know, classic throwback levels. You know, my favorite is. Is title terror and we be, we be getting chased by the huge octopus to, um, you know which is really cool you know it's like they added a lot of new enemies in this game that Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong face you know they went more further with the level design with the graphics you know they up the scale with this game and this game is definitely one of my favorite Donkey Kong Country games of all time came on November 21st 2010, you know, for the regular Wii, and it's definitely one of my favorite regular Wii games, you know, it's definitely one of my most favorite games from the, from the, from the first Wii game, from the first Wii, the regular Wii, you know? it's a great game, you know, it's a classic, it's definitely one of my all-time favorites, and Nintendo did an amazing job with this game, you know, they just did an amazing job, even it has to even has even great music, you know. It captures the, that field of the good old days of playing Donkey Kong Country for your Super Nintendo. It just captures that, but it ups the scale, you know, more. It goes more, they go more further. You know, and I want to make a shout out to my subscribers, and I just want to know, did y'all ever play this game? What's your experiences, and what's your favorite Donkey Kong Country game of all time? I just want to know from my subscribers. I just want to say God bless you all, and you know, I just want to do this video. Oh, definitely, because I'm a huge Donkey Kong fan, you know. And it's definitely one of my favorite in the series, all-time favorites, you know. Now, I admit this game is hard, you know. It is definitely a hard game. I remember, you know, dying so many times at many levels, you know, especially the minecart levels. Like they have this level called the Mole Train, and it's really tough, you know. It's a tough level. But this game, the boss battles are really tough, but they're really fun too. You know? You know? And the main threat is um, it's these things they be hypnotizing people. And the main thing, the main boss comes out this volcano in the beginning of the game, and you gotta face him. You gotta play through the different worlds on DK's Island, you know, to get to them. Plus, this, 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 this level at World 2, the beach level, where you, um, you be 
uh, you be on as well, you know, and it's really cool, it plays even classic music, like the, it plays like really classic music, you know, like I think the water level music, yeah, now the only problem with this game, that I felt like was really strange, there's no water levels, you know, I think that's what this game left out, you couldn't go in the water in this game, which was weird, you know, There's another game in the series that takes place after this, you know, and I want to talk about that in my next video. You know, I'm really excited for that game too. I really, I'm really a big fan of that game too. It's the next game in the Donkey Kong Country series. This game was a huge phenomenon. It was great. It's really fun. Enemies you face, you know, but it has that classic feel. The level design is just keeps you on the edge of your seat, you know, just the level design and the levels, the, the new camera angles, you know what I mean, that each level has, you know what I mean, it's just amazing, it's so unique, there's so many new things Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong can do in this game, you know, also Diddy Kong has this move when he, when you do the ground pound with Diddy Kong, he shoots uh, this, um, he has these two guns, he shoots bananas out of them, to stun the enemy, and the enemy be eating it, and it stuns, it stuns the enemy, you know. Also, it brings back the classic role of Donkey Kong, his rolling, his rolling ball move, his rolling ball attack, his, um, Diddy Kong's classic cartwheel, you know. You know, it's really cool, Diddy Kong has his jetpack in this game, you know, it's really cool. It's a great game, you know, it's a classic. I just love the boss battles, and I love the, I definitely love the levels, the unique level designs, it's just amazing, you know, it's really cool, and I just want to say that, um, you know, I'm really happy to do a video, um, a review about this game, you know, definitely, because I just really love this game, you know, you know? Now, I admit it took me a while to figure out the controls of this game, and this seems really hard because you really gotta like even with the minecart levels you gotta think fast you know you know it's like one of those joints like you gotta focus and think fast you know it's like it's really fast pace you know and, and it's just amazing it's how that you know there's so much going on in this game it's just incredible you know and this game also came out for the 3ds it was called donkey kong country returns 3d I never played that version, but I played the regular Wii version, you know, the first version that came out for the regular Wii, you know. This game was just a phenomenon, it just was really cool, it just brings back that classic feel, you know, and it's fun for everybody, for the whole family, for, you know, even if you have friends, you know, to come over, you know, you know, you know, this is really a game.